Hello, um, today I'm going to, um, start a new series, say, uh, Let's Build series, and, um, yeah, this is going to be the first episode, I think we're going to be building a city this time, wait, let me just turn it to be small mode, I don't know if you guys hear, but in the background there's a big vending machine, I'm on vacation at a hotel, and... There's a big vending machine in the background. But anyways, so let's get started. Let me just bring myself to the center of the world. I'm really sorry about that noise. I mean, I don't know how well you guys could hear it. So, I think what we're going to be building in this Let's Build series is a big city. So, uh, let's see. Some stuff I think I need. Probably quartz. Looks good. Um, might need this. That also looks good. Quartz slab. Um, stone bricks. And some uh, quartz stairs. I don't know. I think this might be what we need for the beginning. Let's just start it off. So, um, I think what we're gonna do is start by building a big circle. So, uh, well, no, actually, I was gonna say we could build, like, a circular building for the sander because those look cool and I know how to build a circle. Well, not an exact circle, but pretty close to a circle. I can show you that guys later. But, um, let's see. I'm really sorry about that noise in the background. Um, here's what I think we're gonna be doing right now. So, uh, let's see. What, what, am, what am I doing? So, so, um, I think what we're gonna do is, um, I believe that what we're gonna do right now is, um, build, like, a, um, sort of a little, like, main building for the whole city. Sort of like City Hall, except maybe a bit smaller. Wait a second. What's something I don't need? Um, I don't think I'll need that. Because I actually know something that you could get. Um, I'm going to give myself a, a double stone slab. Ah, wait, what? Uh, I'm just trying to get that double stone slab block that looks really, really cool, and I really want to get that. I know I'm pretty sure that's possible to get that double stone slab. Yeah. Slash. Maybe I could like. Yeah, I guess it thinks it's a stone slab. I guess you can't really get it. I just know it looks really cool. Like, let me see if you can, like, place it. What? Nope, what? Uh, D. Okay, so, yeah, you could definitely place it by doing sap block commands, but anyways, it's not what matters, you could just place two stand slabs on top of each other, but anyways, so I, um, kind of want to try and build, like, a little base for the city, I think I might incorporate villagers in it, I'm not totally sure what I'm going to do, but I think it's going to, um, I hope the city's going to look really cool. I think I'll make a bunch of maps on it, then put them on item frames to make a map wall. Uh, if you guys don't know what that is, I'll probably show you that later. Maybe uh, we'll make, like, some redstone in the city, but I don't know. By the way, if you guys want to um actually exactly get this, um, if you guys want to exactly get kind of the exact same world as this, um, here's a seed, um, 
By the way, when you're creating a world, click more world options, and then it'll say world type default somewhere on it, on that screen, and um, click that again to get super flat world, um, and then also make sure generate structures off, bonus chest off, and you should get the exact same world as this. Um, oh, and of course, type in that seed right there. But anyways, so, um, oh, also, allow cheats on. Do that. I'm not sure if that really affects the world generation, and I don't think it does. Um, but, yeah, just do that anyway. Um, I did not leave the seed blank. For if you leave the seed blank, actually, showing, giving out the seed will not help. No, it won't. Um, actually, because, I don't think many of you knew this, but, um, I found this on a, uh, like, um, 256, uh, things you might not know in Minecraft or something. I don't know what it's called. Um, and I found out that if you leave a seed blank when your Minecraft world is created, if you leave the seed blank, what it does is it doesn't, um, it doesn't actually, um, it doesn't randomly generate it totally. What it does is, believe it or not, it generates the world based on what time it is. Um, and that is very interesting. Um, so keep in mind for that. Luckily, I did not leave the seed blank. I wrote a gigantic random number that's 64 digits long. That's how many. You could do it maximum. Characters. Um, that's, yeah, because, um, it's true, d believe it or not, there are you, well, you probably already knew this. Well, I mean, you probably already believed this. But it's, it's true, there is definitely a limit to how many possible Minecraft worlds there are. Um, wait, first of all, let me just stop that commentary because I'm going to try and um, build up, like, the pillars to make it look good. I think that would look cool. might be like the front entrance of City Hall. I think that's what I'm going to call this video, the front entrance of City Hall. Um, but anyway, so like I was saying, the um, number of the exact combinations that you could have in your Minecraft world is about 2 to the power of 64. You probably have no idea what that is, and you might not even know what exponents are, or what powers are. Uh, I'm just going to make it a bit longer in that direction so that it could fit. Um, but, um, so, basically, um, whoa, um, that number is about 18 and a half quintillion possible combinations for your Minecraft world. It's quite a lot, um, the reason that this that equation is because... Your Minecraft world, um, actually, should I really talk about this, or should I talk about the build? I'm just gonna quickly finish talking about this. But anyways, so your Minecraft world, when your Minecraft world is generated, it breaks down the seed into a bunch of ones and zeros. Um, and your Minecraft, um, and the seed of that world, it could be up to, uh, 64 digits long. And the way that you could find out exactly how much that is, is by taking, uh, is by would be the number of possible combinations for each digit to the power of digits, and that ends up being two to the power of sixty-four because it could either be a one and or a zero, and it could be sixty-four digits long at most. Um. So yeah, I thought um this was really cool. I think I'll post a video that is a link. Oh, okay. You guys might have noticed it's a little bit quieter in the background because of that vending machine just stopped. <sighs> that, was, that was really annoying me. It's a lot louder in here than it probably sounds in the video.
there's a seat again. I think I'll put it in the description. Um, but anyways, so basically, um, I, I, I think I should cut the video off. I don't want to waste too much, but, um, let's quickly finish these pillars. So, um, basically, yeah, and that gives you the number of possible combinations. Plus, your world could only be so long and so wide. Uh, then again, like I said, I'll probably put the link to these videos that I learned these from in the description. Anyways, I'm sorry I have to cut it off now. Uh, it's like 10 minutes long. I usually don't try to go that much longer than it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, man, we didn't get much done. Um, but anyways, please like the like maybe um please try to like follow the uh the let's build channel which i'm doing now and i'll see you next time bye